Hi, my name is Ashish and this is the new video for Azure DevOps series that we are doing. In this video, we will see how to run and add manual test in the Azure DevOps. Let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Okay, before we log on to the portal, I have uh, uh, you know, acquired a new habit of sharing a few theory as well in my video series. Jumping onto the portal and not sharing a brief of what we are trying to do here I would not make much of uh, the use for you guys who are watching this video on YouTube. So a quick and easy way to start manual testing is to add the test to the user story or bug you want to test. Remember we created a user story and issue item under work items in our projects under the board section. So from the Kanban board, it is an inbuilt feature into the Azure DevOps. If you're not familiar with Kanban board, you should read the documentation that is available on the Microsoft links. We can quickly define the inline test, subtest, or set of manual temps test for a backlog item. And not only we can add test, you we can also run them and update their status. So I'll show you how to see these features in the Azure DevOps. Okay, well, I am into my Azure DevOps console and this is my first project. I click on it. You see boards, you can see my work items here. And this is my work items. So let's say uh, I go to this. It's a bit slow today. The internet is really slow today. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I have to go back. I'm really sorry. It's not under work items. It's under boards. I was mixing these two. Okay. So this is how your Kanban board looks like. So this is one of the user stories are item we are working on uh, okay let's say you are working on this user story and it is it is new and you have to change the status of this user story it will be active then you will click on it update your notes in there and then you'll go back like acceptance criteria or a description or the discussion or the comments that you will add here and then you will move to the next section which is resolved or closed so on and so forth so let's say it's just the new item that we are creating here so if you click here you get an option to add a test here okay you click on it and let's say you say you're checking the home page it's a test under this user story check the main checking home page hit enter so this is the test an inline test that you have created under this user story you click here you will go to this inline test you are not you are under a user story but you are inside this inline text which says it is test case number nine which is checking the home page and uh, you can insert a step here line of code or you can insert a step here you can uh, shared steps you can insert create shared steps you can add here link here okay it's not automated associated automation if you want to add here you can add it we will clear the, we will discuss these things in future videos I just wanted to show you how you can define inline test and run them now it is the checking the home page you say here you can click on run test it will open up in a separate window make sure that your pop-ups are enabled checking the home page if you feel that it's not working fine you can add it you can add a comment you can add an attachment you can save and close here it's an empty task and uh, you can click here you can pass this test okay this test is passed and this is how you can 
do the inline testing running and passing on to from the CAN bed port section of your Azure DevOps project. So I hope this was informative to you and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like all the videos, share all the videos as much as you can and uh, please join me in the next video. Till then have a great day ahead.